Hello chess lovers, Surin here and in this video I would like to share with you a fantastic game played between a chess player named Michelet and Lionel Kizaritsky. This game was played in 1844 in Paris. Unfortunately, there is no information about Michelet and when it comes to Kizaritsky, he was a Baltic German chess master famous for a game he lost against Adolf Andersen known as the Immortal Game. Now let's see what happened on the board. Michelet started the game with e4 and e5 by Kizaritsky, after which Michelet went for this hyper aggressive king's gambit. f4 is on the board, it takes f4, king's gambit accepted, knight f3, g5, bishop c4 and g4. Here white has several options, can I have a castle king's side or play knight c3 or knight d5? In the game we see knight e5 which allows black to give a check from h4 square using the vulnerability of white's king side king f1 and f3 in return black is unleashing a very dangerous counterattack of course here white could simply capture on f7 but in the game we see d4 knight f6 knight c3 bishop g7 and g3 of course it's very strange that White is not going for bishop takes f7 move, in the game we see g3, queen h3 check, king f2 and d6. Well, here black could actually gain a crushing position by giving a check from g2 square and then castling king side, after which actually it's going to be very hard for white to survive, look at this white king on e3 square. But after king f2 we see d6, black is like inviting white to win the pawn on f7, knight takes f7 is on the board, rook f8, knight g5, queen g2 check, king e3, bishop h6, king d3 and knight c6. Already black wants to deliver a very unpleasant check from b4 square, that's why a3 was played. Bishop takes g5, bishop takes g5, and knight takes e4, a dubious decision by Kizaritsky. Here, of course, Michelet could simply capture on e4. If bishop f5, then king c3. If bishop takes e4, then rook g1. And now if queen takes h2, then rook e1. And white will win the bishop on e4. White is managing to gain advantage, but in the game after knight takes e4, we see queen e1. Bishop f5. Instead of bishop f5, black had a very beautiful continuation. f2 was very strong. If queen takes e4 check, then black has this beautiful knight e5 check. And if d takes e5, then only now bishop f5 and white is losing his queen. But Kizariski didn't manage to find this tricky continuation and after queen e1 played bishop f5, knight takes e4, f2, queen e3, king d7, black wants to intensify the pin, bishop d5, rook e8, rook f1 and bishop takes e4. After this move actually white is managing to gain a huge advantage, it was better to move back the bishop and threaten rook f3. But in the game after rook f1 we see bishop takes e4, bishop takes e4 and only now we see rook f3. But it turns out that this variation favors only white. Queen takes f3 was played, g takes f3 and bishop f5 check. And now white bishops, these monsters, are going to create too many problems for black king. Rook e6, now comes d5, knight e5 check and king e4, look at this white king wandering in the center of the board. And on the other hand if we have a look at black queen, the queen is trapped guys, look at this h5 this h pawn is coming to somehow support black queen but now comes d takes e6 check king e8 bishop f6 michelet wants to get rid of this active knight h4 bishop takes e5 d takes e5 king takes e5 h takes g3 and h3 of course giving a check from g6 and then rook d1 was winning faster, but in the game we see h3, queen takes h1, a desperate attempt, but Michele didn't even pay attention to this queen, and he played king f6, he's allowing Belek to capture on f1 as well, 
And now comes Bishop G6 check. Guys, this is truly a fantastic game. King D8, and it turns out that white pawn on E5 is unstoppable. King D7, E8, Queen. King D6, Queen E6 check, after which Kizaritsky resigned. If King C5, then white can play B4. If king b5 then queen e5 check, actually black king is in a mating net and there is no way out after which white can announce a brilliant checkmate. This was truly a brilliant game by Michelet. Although during the game both players made a lot of inaccuracies, but the final part of the game was simply awesome. After watching at Kizaritsky's games, one thing is sure that this guy definitely knew how to lose in the most beautiful style. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next video.